you and I both live in Fort Greene, Brooklyn. Do you miss being able to stroll over and walk into Greenlight Bookstore? Very much. Um, and I, I feel I worry about Greenlight Bookstore because I feel like it's such an essential, really a, a kind of pillar of our neighborhood. Okay. And I, I, I adore it so much. Um, and I, I really hope that they're solid and strong um, because I can't imagine I can't imagine our neighborhood without that bookstore, actually. It's really sort of the heart of it. Um, so I miss them. I'm, I'm eager. I, I, I know that bookstores have reopened in Italy, and I wondered whether they might be one of the first businesses to reopen here, although there are a lot more bookstores in Italy, I think, than in the USA. So it may be that I'm not sure it would be something that would even occur necessarily to public officials as, as a business to open right away. But I do miss them. This is Gordon. You've got to stop running away. Come on, you. This is sort of our bruiser cat. He likes to fight. He catches birds. Birdie, say hello. Mwah! How many cats? How many cats? <laughs> we have three. Um, Gordon, Emerald, and Cuddles. All right, Gordon is making his escape. Um, the two girls are a little more docile. Um, Gordon likes to kind of be out, cr cr causing trouble. He's had a tail amputated through his mishaps. Multiple visits. I've spent so much more on that cat's health care than our two children combined. Oh, um, we could just see uh, him open the door and let himself out. <laughs> That's Gordon. Um, well, actually, you know, it's kind of fascinating. We've had a a, a little bit of a conflict with a neighbor who um, lives in an apartment whose yard faces ours a couple down who has a bird feeder and is very angry because he has seen Gordon trying to catch birds. And so it's one of these kind of COVID problems of everyone's sort of home and there's this danger of, you know, these tensions arising. So we're trying to, you know, keep him inside as much as possible. <laughs> I love birds too.